Hey guys, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video, we are going to do a video on my most reached for items. These are the items that I use almost every single time I put on makeup. That when I'm trying new foundations or when I'm trying new anything, I'm almost always using these products with it. Unless I happen to have one of these products that I'm trying. One of these types of products. Anyways, these are my top reached for everyday products. And of course, my first one is going to be my Hydrating Milky Mist from Pixie. This stuff just really works good and it doesn't break me out. And that's always good. And of course my base tape. You guys know these things. This is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Base Tape. And it is a hydrating primer and I love it. I love it. It smells good. It works good. It helps me get some dewiness back into my skin. Both of these together. This is the balm combination. Um, also, my new favorite thing is this Wet n Wild sponge. I know this is a new one, but I do reach for it every day. I have three of them now. And I really love them. It's just the perfect combination of... And it's just a sponge, but it's $3.96 and I love them. Anyways, um, this is another one that is reached for all the time. But I'm not necessarily sure it's my favorite. It's just the best one I've got right now. I have hopes for the Jeffree Star though. I haven't got it yet. This is the Jouer Concealer. I like this one and I like the Born This Way. Both of those are interchangeable. But for now, it seems like this is the one I reach for all the time. So I put it in my most reached for, even though it's probably not going to be my favorite. It is my most reached for. So it must be pretty good because I keep doing it over and over again. And then my most reached for eyeshadow, which I usually don't have a most reached for eyeshadow because I have so many and they, you know, come out with so many new ones. But of course you guys know which one it is. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Shadow in Marie Antoinette. I'm going to get another color during the VIB sale. So if I have that one, by the time this goes up, just put them together because I don't have it yet. Because I'm still pre-filming for California. Um, another one that I always reach for and I've loved for a long time, but I'm starting to notice flakes. And I can't stand mascara that flakes. And this is a new one because I thought maybe it was just, you know, because the other one was getting old or something. So I got a new one and this is the new one and I'm still noticing flakes. So I'm going to be trying out some more mascaras. So if you have any recommendations for mascaras that are not clumping, because I don't like the kind, I like the lengthening ones, but I can't stand it when they flake. And this has been my favorite for so long. I don't know why it's flaking. It's probably a change in the weather, a change in I don't know what. I, I doubt they changed the formula. But anyways, this one is still the one I reach for because I have a bunch of other ones and every time I try one of those, I'm like, yeah, I don't like that one as much as I liked this one. So until I find one better, this is still my most reached for one. Another thing that is most reached for that I wear, like every single time I wear makeup, I reach for these. And it's the either, it's the tattoo liner, gel liner from um, Maybelline. Is it Maybelline? Yes, Maybelline. And I have it in brown and black. And I use one of these every time I put on makeup to do my um, push lining. And I love them. You get them in there and you can smudge them up. You have time to do it. But yet then when they dry down, they are there for good. And the other two reached fours are the Rollerball. And I have it in the dark brown. I just got it in the black and I haven't tried it yet because I have so many other ones that I need to use because I've already bought them. And this is the one I've been using and I really like this one. It's just, it's a little bit shiny. I love the packaging, but when you put it on, it's a little bit shiny, but it's still the one I reach for all the time. And that's what this video is. It's not necessarily the one I think is the best. It's just seems to be the best one, the one that I like. 
because I keep reaching for it. So these two, the brown one, and this one's black. That's why I have the two. Because whenever I need brown, I go to this one. When I need black, I go to this one. This one, the only thing I don't like about this one is it seems like you do, if you mess up and have to redo it, it doesn't have stuff in it. I don't know what that's about. But it's happened to me a couple times. And then, of course, I always reach for my Morphe spray when I remember to reach for anything. <laughs> But it is my favorite and my most reached for if I remember to use setting spray. Now, my most reached for brushes. Um, my new Sigma powder brush I've been reaching for. You guys know I was using that purple one forever. But now that I've got this one, this one's so much softer. I've been reaching for it all the time. So it's the Sigma F30, the powder brush. And then I've got the Sigma F35. This is so so soft for putting on highlight. This is what I use for highlight. And did I say what F35? And then I have one other Sigma one in here and it is the E55. I would not have guessed this would be the one I love the most out of the ones I got. And it is. It's just dense enough to pack things where I want them, especially my Charlotte Tilbury. It's so good for that. And then pulling things up. I really like this one. Did I tell you? Yeah, the E55. This is my favorite eye brush from Sigma so far. I only have a couple, so this is, you know, it, it may change. And then, of course, I have my two Morphe fluffy brushes. The 505 and the 504. And you can see the difference, just a little bit of difference. One's a little bit bigger than the other one. So those are my two favorite, favorite favorites. And then I have this Morphe brush that I use for my, after I push line when I spread it, it's a flat brush. And this is the Morphe M432. So I reach for this one, well, cause I use the the push lining every time so I use this one every time and then of course my Anastasia Beverly Hills number 11 I think <laughs> I don't know it's worn off so I don't really know for sure but I'm pretty sure it's the number 11 and then I have this one this is an MUA brush my dual fiber brush I use this every time I put on makeup too and it just says MUA Makeup Academy Professional. Oh, it's a stippling. 015 stippling. And I got this at CVS. That's the only place I've seen the MUA brand. Anyways, that's it. That's it for our fun Friday. Most used, most reached for products. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Share this on all your social media. And I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah!